24, I'm the so much more. I live alone in paradise, it makes me think the two. I love life for such a cost, they give me things that don't get lost. I like a coin, but won't get tossed. It's rolling back to you. How's it going folks? This is Wayne R, back with another lesson and another amazing song today, uh, Neil Young and Old Man. I had a lot of requests for this one since I did uh, Neil Young Heart of Gold not so long ago if you want to check that one out. A lot of people requested this one. Um, now I studied Neil playing this, um, obviously this isn't exactly like Neil Young, it's obviously the chords are the same but a lot of embellishments he does, it's very hard to pick up on and it seems he doesn't do the same thing once so... Uh, I'm going to go over all the chords and I'm going to show you a few sort of Neil Young-isms, you know, the little lift-offs and the little em embellishments on the chords. So it's not an easy one, but without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning and the first chord that you're going to need is, so if, if you took a D chord, slide that up to the 5th fret and then we're going to take the second finger off. So the first finger is on the 5th fret on the G and the third finger is on the sixth fret, that is on the B string, okay? So we're going to do this little hammer on with the first finger. And I'm going to hit the open B and the open E string, so we get this. So after you've done that, so we do this hammer on. B, E, up, down, up. Okay, and then we're going to slide that down so we're doing a D sus 4 chord, sorry, a D sus 2 chord. We're going to hammer the second finger on so we got the D. D sus 4, normal D, D sus 2, back to a D again, so. Okay, so with the words. Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Oh man, look at my life. I'm a lot like. Okay, so after the second time, we go to a normal D. Okay, now I'm just going to read the chords out because um, the chord it does tend to change and get a bit confusing through the verse. So. I'm going to go through the verse chord by chord and talk about, you know, and put the words and all the embellishments and things in after. So after that, off after the second lot of the singing, we've got a D chord, F major 7. So in F, those who aren't familiar with an F major 7, first finger, first fret, B string, second finger, second fret on the G, third finger, third fret, that is on the D, okay? And we're going to go to a C. And a G. Now you notice on this G I'm doing a G with my second, third and fourth finger to leave my first finger free for this little embellishment that we'll talk about in a short while. So again we've got the D, F major 7, C, the G. The second time it's going to go D, F, C, back to F. And with the words. Oh man, look at my life. 24 and there's so much more Live alone in paradise And we go that C back to F again And then this verse we got a D, F, C, the G as normal And this time round D, C, F and then the G Okay, and that's going to lead into the chorus 
So I'll just sing that through, obviously we got Oh man, look at my life At 24 and there's so much more I Live alone in paradise It makes me think of two Love life is such a cost It gave me things I don't get A little bit different this time Like a coin that won't get tossed Okay, now I'm not sure whether he does it on this chorus, but he does this little lead into the D, so on the chorus. So that's it, I'll show you now and then you can add that in. So we're doing an open A string, two, three on the A, and then an open D. And it sort of goes straight into a D chord. So we've got this little embellishment on the D again, this is the chorus. It's adding that D sus4, then a D sus2 back into your regular D so We've got an A minor 7, so those who aren't familiar with an A minor 7, take an A minor, take the third finger off. We're going to go to an E minor 7, so that's an E minor. Third finger is going to go on the third fret on the B string, and then we're going to go quickly into a G. Now you notice this time I'm doing, you know, a normal way of doing the G, I'm doing a four finger G this time, so. Oh now take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you I need someone to love the whole day through Oh one look at my eyes, I can tell it's true And then we go back into the verse chords again, okay? Uh, and the chorus, so everything goes round again. So after the second chorus, we, we go back into the beginning again. So it's like... So I'm just going to talk about uh, the few of the embellishments he does on the chords, mainly through the verse. So when we go into the into the chord, you know, the verse part. So what he uh, now this isn't exactly right because obviously I've watched Neil Young, and but this is sort of uh, let's say Neil Young isms, and it's going to get you know adds a lot to the song. So on the D I tend to so we got the. talk you through those different chords so from the D we're going to lift the first finger off so okay on the F we're going to lift the second finger off the C second finger off again although sometimes I add the little finger on that would be the third fret on the D so we do this and then into the G we have this First finger on the first fret on the beast, and you get this. Okay, and then obviously you got the, the little embellishment around the obviously the D chords and everything. Okay, so if you can add that in, I think it adds a lot in the song. So that just leaves us really with a strumming pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not going to go dead thoroughly over the strumming pattern because I think um, if you can play this song anyway, I think you're up to a stage probably where you can you can pretty much work the strumming out for yourself. But when I do get into the verse, I tend to use a down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. so down, down, down. Up. Turn around, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Down, down. Okay, and that's going to pretty much work throughout the song, obviously. The
Okay, so obviously it changes a little bit throughout the song, but like I said, I just thought I'd give you a guide and obviously that'll hopefully get you through the song. So that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that out. Uh, brilliant song. I'm a massive Neil Young fan and uh, it's not a particularly easy song to play. All right, the chords are fairly easy. It's pretty straightforward open chords, but it's what Neil Young does with the chords of all those little embellishments and things in there actually makes them sound you know incredible so uh, you know not an easy song quite an intermediate song but i hope you all dug that and thanks for everyone who requested that if you have got any requests for not just neil young songs anything 50s to modern day within reason you could either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days on social media i'm wayne our guitar on facebook twitter and now instagram and that way you can send me a personal message and i do always try and reply to messages uh you know Obviously, it's the requests that keep this channel going. I get hundreds, so uh, it might take a while to do your request. But I always say, you know, if you want any advice about anything as well, it doesn't have to be a request about uh, what guitar to buy or want to get asked a lot is about strumming. Um, actually, I did do a strumming series uh, about a year ago. So if you go into my playlist and look at technique lessons, if you do need to brush up on your strumming, um, Probably four or five really common strumming patterns that I use in a lot of songs in my videos. So if you want to, like I say, brush up on that. Or or if you do want to, if there's anything that I haven't covered, if you want to ask me, you know, please send me a message. But uh, there we go. So I'd just like to thank everyone who's for, you know, for the continued support. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and who continues to subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I must say, if you hit that notification bell in the corner down there, uh, you're going to get notified every time I load a video up, which is either once or twice a week, so that way you can get straight on it. But uh, as I say, thanks for the continued support. So that just leads me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.